Correct. Sorry. Okay. Cut. Look. <laughs> Do it again. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, I am Janae Emily Utley, Holistic Lifestyle Maven and Possibility Trainer, and I am back with another episode of She Is Strength, and I am here with my girl. Janae, also known as Nate Too Curly. Tell them about yourself a little bit. You know what? I do a little hair, mm -hmm. little lifestyle pictures and whatnot, so go ahead and check me out. Okay. And I'll leave her information in the description box below. Okay. So today, you want to tell the people we're talking about? You want me to tell them? Girl, I can start, but go ahead and finish it and put a cherry on top. We're talking about insecure men. Mm. How to spot them. The little tendencies. Because they can be slick with it, they can be very obvious. Mm hmm. That's what we're gonna talk about. Yeah. Nate, take us in. Before we hop into the meat and potatoes of this video, I wanna show some subby love to all of y'all beautiful women who came and chatted with me in the comments of my last video. So I wanna show some love to Trisha Bell, Talks with Lonnie, Kirsty M, Tasha, Bree Yvonne, and Ursula Thomas, aka <laughs> my mom she has a youtube channel y'all should totally check it out so if you don't know after each video for about an hour i stick around in the comment section to really chat with y'all so don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified right when i upload a video so you can come and chat live with me in the comments okay now back to the video we're going to address the topic of insecure men and how we can spot it um both the like overt out in the open, bro, I know you insecure. And then the little slick, little slick stuff. Stay slick with it. I do wanna preface by saying this, okay? Just because you are insecure or have insecurities, that doesn't mean that you are not, uh, or will not be a good partner today, someone today. Even me, right now, a grown married woman, I still have insecurities that I'm working through. The key, key phrase, mm -hmm. working through, right? I'm not putting my stuff on someone else. I'm not making someone else pay for things or issues that I have within myself that I'm working on, right? Yeah. And within that, you know, within that being said, that just because you have uh, insecurities or you are insecure, uh, that you are still worthy of love, worthy of being dated, there are extremes. And it's, it's a fine line to all of this, right? So uh, one thing that might we might say that applies to one person mm -hmm. ain't going to fit the next person's bill. It depends on a lot of things. It depends on your maturity level. It depends on, like, the things that have happened to you in your past. So it's not a one-size-fits-all approach is what I'm mm -hmm. trying to say. So you know what I'm saying? Listen to what we got to say. Listen to what we got to offer. If you if some if some red flags that come up for you, pay attention to it. But also in any relationship that you enter into, you have to invite the Holy Spirit in yes. to direct you and show you, okay, God, is this something yeah. right here that I need to be paying attention to? Is this an insecurity, mm -hmm. or is it just a little tendency? Uh -oh. You know? Live it up, live it up, live it up, live it up, live it up. Live it up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna hop straight into it. First thing, mm -hmm. if you are dealing with a man and you find that he always has to be around you and under you, uh, especially in public, and he always has to make it known that y'all, mm. sister, you might be dealing <laughs> with an insecure man because a secure man who um is an honorable man they're going to show you they're going to flex you mm -hmm. they're going to boost you yeah but they're not going to always feel the need to make you like they're they're barbie in a box to put you on display to always right. have like you are mine you belong to me mm -hmm. that's not necessary mm -hmm. now talking about extremes right you want to be you want to be boosted and you want to be you want the world to know y'all are together right men who doing the other stuff they doing some shady stuff if you ain't nowhere to be found on uh the instagram mm -hmm. on their facebook on on any of their social media right or if they don't have social media you really ain't met a whole none of his friends none of his family you don't like the people that he for real ride with hard mm -hmm. you ain't for, you don't really for real know them like that he don't mm -hmm. bring you around that's an issue right so you don't want that no nope. because you're dealing with a, sh a shady person but you also don't want to deal with this person and i don't even want to necessarily call it clingy but obsessive is really what it that's is that's a better word mm -hmm. so that's 
a telltale sign that you're dealing with an insecure man. Because, yes, at moments, it can be so endearing. Oh, my God, he loves me so much. He just wants me all to himself, blah, blah, blah. But you dig into that, the psychosis of that thing? Brother. Give me my space. <laughs> like... I was a whole person before you. You yeah. were a whole person before me. You didn't have Look. a life before me? You don't know how to live without me? Well, you're gonna have to know how to function with. Okay. It gotta be some, it's some, it's okay. some balance in the that thing, is what we're trying to say. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's number one. What you got for him, Nathan? So, um,. Uh, one of the ones I want to talk about is just the extreme ultimatums. And so we talked about this before we even started recording, where it's just like there are instances where a guy, just to keep you, um, manipulate, oh. and man he will do this type of manipulating mode where he yeah. says, Well, if you leave me, um, well, I'll just give my example. Just, it's okay. I'll give my example. Just be transparent for the people. There it is. In school, college. Um, this guy was just saying, you know, we're done. I don't want to talk to you no more. I'm all set. He was like, well, if we can't get back together, or if we can't, because first of all, he didn't want to make it official, but you, okay, anyways, had a, had a moment. <laughs> I basically told him, you're not being serious. You know, you didn't want to be with me. You didn't want to make it official. I'm good. He said, well, if we don't get together, or if we don't, if you don't want to talk to me no more, I'm just leaving the school. I'm leaving. I'm dropping out of uh, this school and I'm going to go somewhere else. And I was like, it's not that deep. It's never that deep. Mm -mm. Y'all, he ended up leaving the next year. <laughs> so I said, oh, Lord, wow. But it's also instances where, you know, just a guy will be like, well, if um, you can just say, like, if you go out, well, don't talk to me tonight. If you go out tonight, you don't don't call me. Yeah. Or can we say this? If you don't have sex with me, I'm leaving you. Ooh, let's dig deeper. That was a deep one. That was that was a good example. And what that what happens is that on our end we're like, well, I don't want him to think that. I don't want him to feel that. I don't like, want to cause him this I much wanna... pain. I don't want him to have to change his life for me. Maybe I can compromise. Maybe ma no. No. Sis. You honestly end up doing things that you never thought you would do. And if oh, hello. you feel you felt that one. Cock a doo doo. Look up and like I never. And you also look up like who am I? We don't want you to get to that point. Okay? No. We, that's a whole other time. We don't want you to get to that point. Mm -hmm. So that is why, like, you have to be mindful of guys like that, where they will say or do anything to make you feel like, well, maybe I, sh maybe I, well, maybe that's manipulation. That's um giving you all these extreme ultimatums. Like, no, sir, get yourself gigged on. Um, mm -hmm. but also too, even with the manipulation part, so y'all done, right? Y'all done having talks to the weather, but he's mm -hmm. still trying to get you back. You know, you look on the front like there go Tyrone. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. They'll do whatever they can to mm -hmm. get you back, right? So it can be an example of you his it. mama, his mama, his mama in the hospital, granny in the hospital. He's sick. He, his car ain't working, but you live two streets down. He see that you at home. Can you take him to the, to the job? Because, you know, he, he really been wanting this job. He got the job of his dreams. So you all over here like, well, he did work hard to get that job. And I, I don't I want didn't... him to lose it. Yep, come on, speak on so it. So I guess I'll go ahead and just do this one time. Mm -hmm. And then, no, because you could be in, in the car, mm -hmm. your feelings jump back on you. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Am I lying? <laughs> Am I lying? I'm not. <laughs> no, for, for real. So them dudes who had them extreme ultimatums, and then like Janae saying, dudes who will use your 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 y'all's past relationship, y'all's yeah. past emotions to manipulate you. That's that's ultimatum. If you if he gotta call you for something, uh huh. Mm -hmm. He needs something for you, bro. You can get it from. You got friends. Nobody. <laughs> Why me? Cause, cause a secure man. Let's be clear. Mm -hmm. A secure man doesn't have to use those tactics because he respects you as a whole woman, as a whole human being. The ultimatums don't have to be there, right? Now, if it's if it's a matter of you know what, I literally need some time and space to get my mind focused. I can't be with you right now. I'm not trying to pressure you. I'm not trying to pin you in a corner. I need to do this for me. That's not an extreme ultimatum, mm -hmm. right? That's literally somebody trying to get some space uh, so they can for real, for real grow, get some some understanding, navigate through some, some difficult waters. But if it's a situation where it's so extreme that it's going to make you be the person that has to uh, concede mm -hmm. to whatever their desires are, that's an issue, right? Yep. Don't manipulate me. Don't give me a... 
ultimatums or extremes mm -hmm. because you don't respect me enough to respect my my me as a woman and my feelings as a, a human being. Yeah. Period. Period. Number three is a telltale sign of an insecure man is a man who you feel for real don't have your back like that and they bring mess to you. I had a situation where I was dating this guy and uh, we, you know, I guess you could kind of say we rolled in similar circles so we knew mm -hmm. some of the same people mm -hmm. and that also meant he knew people who probably didn't have a taste for me, right? Mm -hmm. That pretty much didn't care for me, who I was, my personality, the whole Janae package. So he would catch wind of stuff. And instead of him addressing that on site, he will bring some of that stuff back to me. Well, tonight, what does that have to what does that have to do with him being insecure? This is the thing. A secure man is not going to allow anybody, especially in the streets, to just talk about his lady any kind of way. Second of all, he's not going to bring it to her. The pure fact of him bringing it to her, or in my case, back to me, mm -hmm. meant that he was literally trying to use it uh, as a tactic to knock me down a few steps. Crazy. A secure man does not have to do anything to knock you down. The things that he does for you and to you and with you are going to be is are going to be to push you up, to boost you, and to make you better. Even yeah. if it's something where he has to check you, like. Hold on, baby. I'm gonna have to right. sit you down right there. That still is it still sets you up for growth and mm -hmm. being boosted in the future. Mm -hmm. It's a setback, not even a setback. You can't even yeah, you can't yeah. even consider that a setback. But it's going to always be in a position where it's raising you and elevating you. That's Period. how him bringing noise that should have never been at my front door to nope. my front door. That's how that makes him an insecure man. Baby, you're supposed to shut that down. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be. Now, if it's a situation where it's like your girl was talking about you behind your back and you need to cut her off, for that purpose, I understand. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Give me like, that line. Yeah. Get, not, be like, she's not your friend like she thinks she's your friend. Let's just leave it at that. And you can handle that with me not there. Right? But all that other stuff, well, they said this about you and they said that about you. and they That's no benefit to me. They're not in my it. inner circle. They don't affect my day-to-day -day life. There is not a, a relationship that I necessarily need to cut off because it's not a relationship to begin with. That right. literally does nothing but make me upset. What you got for the piece, Nay? Um, so one guy, he had to be insecure. <laughs> he ain't laughing at my jokes. Oh, Nay. What's the problem? Like, I mean, that's the thing. Like, you don't thing. think I'm funny at all. Like, come on. Just one of those dudes like, nah, this is like, keep the jokes to yourself. Like, you know, you're not that funny, huh, huh, huh. Like, Doing them little jokes like they stop like no nah, that's not even funny like first of all I know it's funny. allow me don't allow me to be me oh that's a big one Nate. okay we going somewhere like that's a big one allow me to be me so every time I do something or say something or it's almost like I'm walking on pins and needles because my boyfriend may say he may no that's not how you're supposed to live your life right mm -hmm. so um if you are in a situation now where every time you say something move shake sneeze, blink your eyes, and this guy always has something to say about it, nah. Yeah, cause that ain't got nothing to do with you. That ain't got nothing to do with you, that's all him. Yeah. You supposed to be still honestly and truly living out the best you, so if mm -hmm. he's compromising that or messing that up or making you feel, even turning the his insecurity on you, you should not feel insecure about who you really are. And I think that would be a good segue to just being overly critical. Yeah, so like, yeah, with Janae's point of, of just being a person not, not boosting you and not like, uh, rooting on your strength because yeah, you're yeah. funny, right? Yeah, That's a strength hilarious. Of yours, and he's not rooting on your mm -hmm. strength. So that was what four. Yeah. So a fifth insecurity is dealing with um, a man that is overly critical. Now here's the thing: as with everything that we've discussed, it's a it's a fine line, right? Yeah. And you really have to base it on the particular situations that you're in, right? But I was involved with this guy back in the day and he was over overly critical of me but it was very very subtle right mm. it was it will always be small suggestions here and small suggestions there hey why don't you wear your hair like this or you look better with your hair like that 
oh, why don't you wear those shoes? Oh, why don't you wear that outfit? Oh, it, you, you see the, you see where yeah. I'm going with this? It was always that. And the reason, Janae, how was that an insecurity? The reason it was an insecurity, it wasn't an insecurity that he was projecting on uh, necessarily me, but it's a, a, a insecurity that he had associated with image. Hmm. How he wanted to look with you. How other people, how he wanted other people to view him. Hmm. You, you get what I'm saying? And like you, that was so suffocating to me. Like, I felt like everything that I did, I'm like, will he, will he approve of this if I wore my hair like this? Or I have always been, I've always loved school. I've always been like a studier. So I carry my notebooks with me. I carry my books with me. Yeah. Middle school, high school, college. Like, even, even now when I go to like Panera, I will lug textbooks with me. And it's like, is he going to think I, I look uncool? <laughs> Taking my books. books, right? You know what I'm saying? Small. So is this lipstick going to be appropriate? Like, so if I, can I? If I go to this event, if I, small stuff like that, and it was just like walking on eggshells. Again, it had nothing to do with me. Yeah. And then it's like, uh oh, we about to take it on another level. Oh. Do you have to react like that? Does your tone have to be that high? Hmm. Do you have to be that passionate? Mm -hmm. This is who I, this is who I am. I don't care who you trying to impress and what kind of power couple you want us to look like. This is me. I can't right. suppress it. So just because you have an insecurity associated with image mm -hmm. and who knows where that came from, because that that came from somewhere. Right. You're trying to put that insecurity because you want to be seen as more than what you actually are. You're trying to put that on me, and that's now I'm starting to mess with my confidence. Yeah. But especially because I like you. Of course I'm gonna try to like, yep. uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Well baby said, mmm. Well maybe I could. Mmm. So that's definitely a telltale sign of an insecure man. Uh for me in my case, it was very subtle. But once I like had time to step back and mature, I could I woo, laser. I was mm. like, oh wow, he was very overcritical, but it was just so subtle. And then you do have the people who are like blatantly, it's so obvious, like so obvious. you can't cook right, you can't clean right, you don't drive right, your hair ugly, your face ugly, your toenails ugly, like every two seconds, like Sir. I can't even breathe. You breathing too hard. I can't even breathe right. right. Hey. <laughs> Bro, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's some, some insecurity inside of you. That's, and you just Facts. taking stuff out on me. <laughs> How about it? I got time for that. I, uh, but Nate, can I challenge that? Because when, we, cause when, you, when you said that, that, that thin line yeah. where we talked about, because let's be honest, ladies. If he got a certain shirt on, I'll be like, uh, you know, babe, you look so cute in the other one. So that's why I agree with you when you say like, these all come in different shapes and sizes and forms. And also too, you gotta really know like what it's really, and you maybe knowing where it's really coming from. Yes. There it is. Mm -hmm. Let's say that. Knowing where, if he is saying this to you, know, if you, you know it's a genuine like conversation. Cause like, like, like I just said, we, we do that with our boyfriends. Like, you know, I really like this, sh this shirt on you. It's from Kim. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause you just want him to, you just want to, you think he looks really good in this shirt. Uh -huh. um, so knowing the difference between whether that is the uh, insecurity or him being critical, or is it really him just like really liking you in a particular thing? Mm -hmm. um, That's true. But then you also have a guy where they respect where you are. Mm -hmm. So if he is trying to change something, and you said, babe, actually, I don't feel comfortable. And he does not respect your response. Nah, you can stay where you at, bro. Mm -hmm. So I just had it. That was my yeah, thought process it's on that. definitely. Thank you for that, because it's definitely levels to that. And it, yeah. again, it's going to depend on your relationship. Yeah. For me, I've I, always been able to put a put an outfit together, baby. I huh. always I came out the womb fly. So the fact that he was criticizing me, that, that's how I knew. Like, Mm, that's how I knew that was an insecurity for for him, cause I could I could piece huh. a phenomenal outfit together, bro. It's it, but it's a certain image that you trying to yeah. Versus Nay situation, y'all might be going to a particular event and she just like you don't look as good in that shirt as you think you look. Just put. Just, so you gotta know your you gotta know your man and you gotta know the situation. Yeah, but all the other ones we said beforehand, facts. No, go. What, what else we got for the people now? I think that's about it.
This video is being sponsored by my manual, the Maven's Manual for Spiritual Fitness. A couple times in this video, we've mentioned really leaning into the Holy Spirit to help guide you in relationships. And if you're one of the women who are really trying to get closer to God, to even learn how to hear from the Holy Spirit, or even learn how to talk to God so you can be knowledgeable about making best choices when out here dating in the world, I would encourage you to sign up just so you can grow a deeper, more intimate intimate relationship with God and so you can learn how to hear him better and the first 10 women that sign up for this manual I am doing one-on-one -on -one prayer calls with you ladies to help strengthen you encourage you and exhort you so yeah this is not an all uh intensive list there are definitely things that we could have added to this list and we definitely want to hear from y'all after yeah. this list go in the comment section below and and tell you know your telltale times when you're dealing with the insecure men so the the, the community the community of sisters so we can learn mm -hmm. together yeah. and mention the subtle insecurities right because some of them some of them men are so good with it mm -hmm. they so good at hiding it that you don't you won't know until you lean into the holy spirit and until uh -huh. somebody give you a heads up so let's support each other in the comments talk about the subtle insecurities and talk about the you know glaringly obvious uh insecurities as well but we hope you guys enjoy this uh if you have not seen the other videos in this she is shrimp series i will link them here on the screen that's all we have for now until next time bye be blessed